All right, everybody, I'm back to do another masterpiece hunt out of uh, these Pioneer legal packs. Starting with Kaladesh, and uh, have you seen? As you've seen on this series before, I did find an expedition, uh, a Misty Rainforest, at one point. So I'm hopeful out of one of these other boxes that these are coming from, there will be another invocation or an expedition or the other thing I can't even remember at this point fabrication module nature's way minister of inquiries cultivator of blades and as always we will scan up the rare see if it's any good and mostly find out that they're 35 cents or so here we go on to the next Kaladesh expedition invocation and invention we're looking for inventions out of Kaladesh and Aether Revolt, right? There we go. Failed inspection. That's usually how this goes. Not always. Sometimes we get some good stuff. We got a filigree familiar. Show it off. Incendiary sabotage. Refurbish an architect of the untamed. I should probably read these, right? That's how these also go. Cultivator of Blades is five. Elf Artificer. It's got Fabricate 2. When Cultivator of Blades attacks, you may have other attacking creatures. Get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is Cultivator of Blades Power. It's a 1-1. One -one. And Architect of the Unnamed is a 3-drop Elf Artificer Druid. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you get energy. You can play, I think that's 8 energy. Create a 6-6 Colorless Beast Artifact Creature Token. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Alright. The Architect is right in the same range there. And a token. Alright. Oath of the Gate Watch, potential expedition. There's an ancient crab, <clears throat> and a bunch of Eldrazi cool stuff. Spiders, goblins. Oh my! Yep. Fun times. We'll be going back to Zendikar soon. Immolating glare, essence depleter, flaying tendrils, and fall of the titans. For you got to pay X twice and a red. And you, or you can, it's an instant. You can surge it for X and a red. Uh, what is surge? You may cast a spell for a surge cost. If you or a teammate has cast another spell this turn. Interesting. So this is for two-headed giant. Fall of the Titans deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures and or players. 35 cents. We've got a full our island though. Hey, what do you know? I knew it. Full our island and an elemental. There we go. Another Oath Pack. There it is, Cultivator Drone. Seer's Lantern. Allied Reinforcements. Reaver Drone. Press into Service. And Bearer of Silence. So it's a 2-1 for 2 Ildrazi with Devoid. When you cast Bearer of Silence, you may pay one and a colorless. If you do, target opponent sacrifices a creature. And it's got flying, and it can't block. Hmm. Yeah, it's got some possibilities. Apparently not. 37 cents. Four in a row in the 30 cent level. There we go. Our Devastation. Uh, I've been opening up packs out of these boxes for a little while here, looking for masterpieces. But I'm also looking for. Some good mythics. Maybe we get a Scarab God. Got a Combatant. A Blur of Blades. Desert of the Fervent. I like the Egyptian theme. Crook of Condemnation. Merciless Eternal. Vizier of the Anointed. And Solemnity. Ah, oh, very good card here. For three, it's an enchantment. Players can't get counters. You can do so many crazy things with that. Counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. Uh, I believe this sees play in a lot of formats. It is 679. Pretty decent. Put it over there. Right next to my snake. There we go. Next up. A zombie naga wizard. Why not? Lethal Sting, Ambuscade, 
Some deserts. Sinuous Strike. Appeal to Authority. Vile Manifestation. And Oketra's Last Mercy. For three, it's a sorcery. Your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. Hmm. Bit of a trade-off. I'm sure commander players are not really keen on this one. Yeah. No. Probably not. And a full art mountain. And another one of those punch card things. Aether Revolt. Let's get it here. Um, no foils yet even. Swooper. Evasion Chaser. Druid. Herder. Crawler. A Rogue Refiner. Invigorated Rampage. Reverse Engineer. Peace Walker Colossus. For three, it's an artifact vehicle. 6-6. Six, six. You pay one and uh, white. Another target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Or you can crew it for four to make it smash on through. It's probably not a big one. Vehicles, I think, have not been super popular. Um, I kind of like the mechanic, but it's just another hoop to jump through, right? And an energy token. Revolt. What a revolting development. Metallic Rebuke. Caught in the brights. Renegade map. Other stuff. Cogwork Assembler. Gaunti's Mation Nations. Ridge Scale Tusker. And Whirr of Invention. It's an instant for uh, three blue and pay X. Improvise your artifacts can help cast a spell. I oh, gotcha. Each artifact you tap after you're done activating mana abilities pays for one. Search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Kind of a convoke. Um, is that a tutor when it goes right to the battlefield? I guess it must be. I think it probably is okay. I'm gonna guess this sees a little bit of play. A couple bucks there. Can't go wrong. Put it here. Ethereum cell. All right. Still looking for those masterpieces. Amiket. The hieroglyphic masterpiece potentially here. Thresher lizard. Magma spray. Painted bluffs. True heart twins. Vizier of tumbling sands. On crop crasher. And a prowling serpapod. I love this card. A cat snake. What's not to love? For three, it's a four three cat snake. Prowling Serpapod can't be countered. Creature spells you control can't be countered. I like it. And everyone else likes it too. It's five bucks. There we go. Next up, another pack. Cartouche, Sentinels, it's Desert, a Ruthless Sniper, Crocodile of the Crossing, Seraph of the Suns, Glorybringer. Well, this was a powerhouse back in Standard, I think. I might be seeing some Pioneer play. It's a 4 4 Dragon for 5, Flying in Haste. You may exert Glorybringer as it attacks. When you do, it deals 4 damage to target non creature, non dragon creature, and opponent controls. If you exert it, it doesn't untap during its next untap step. Solid. A couple bucks there. It's been up and down. And the full art. There we go. All right. Battle for Zendikar. We've already got the expedition out of this box. It would be super unlikely to get another one. So maybe we'll get a mythic with all our rares that we got today. A boiling earth. Well, you get Predator, Brood Monitor, whoops, Infused with the Elements, Tide Drifter, Smothering Abomination for four. It's a 4 3 Eldrazi with Devoid. It's got flying at the beginning of your upkeep. Sacrifice a creature. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Probably not. Yeah, no. A little bit more than the rest of these, though, right? Full art and a plant. Alright, here we go again, last pack. 
Thanks for stopping by at Tragic MTG. Make sure to like and subscribe. Incubator drone, culling drone, another drone, more drones, devastators. Any more drones here? Vile aggregate, blood bond vampire, royal spout, and a prism array. For five, it's an enchantment with converge. Prism array enters the battlefield with a crystal counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. Remove a crystal counter from prism array, tap target creature. Or you can pay all five colors to scry three. I think this would see play in a five color deck. Eh, probably not. Yeah, no. Full art and a scion. All right, that's it. Thank you very much. See you later.